Hello and welcome. My name's Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the new releases from Forge World and Games Workshop. So happy you could join me today on Saturday the 7th of March. This is the first news and pre-order video in March. So welcome to the third month in 2020. If you're a subscriber or follow me on Instagram, you will have seen the great news that I will be continuing daily videos throughout April and May. I went through a period of last year where I was releasing my normal two, maybe three videos a week and then December and then for December only at the time I thought, well, I'll do a video every day. That has still continued and we're then and we're almost halfway through March. So I hope you're enjoying all of the daily content. I know a video a day can be quite a lot, but I will be revamping the YouTube channel shortly and uh, creating new uh, playlists. So if you want to just watch all of the Conquest videos, uh, you can do. I'll have a Conquest uh, playlist. If you want to look at just Age of Sigma or specifically Slaves of Darkness, you can do. If you want to look at uh, Adeptus Titanicus, because there'll be quite a few new videos for Adeptus Titanicus coming out, um, you can do. So I'll be revamping it and um, I'm making it easy to find uh, uh, the videos that you are most interested in. Of course, I do appreciate your support, watching the videos every day, liking them, leaving comments and subscribing. That all helps the channel out. If you want to help the channel out further, you can donate on Patreon, uh, which helps fund the cost of all the new releases. Games Workshop don't send me any of these models for free. I buy them out of my own pocket and typically if it was just my single collection, I'd just collect Space Marines and nothing else. Uh, but because of the channel and because of Patreon, I've been able to uh, purchase other models from other armies and uh, give you a, a wider variety. And I'd love to do more Age of Sigma. At least try and get one army for each of those, um, you know, factions, each of the orders, uh, like Order, Destruction, Chaos, and um, Death, and so on. So with Patreon, you can either leave a tip or you can donate something regular, like a dollar a month. Um, but every little helps uh, support the channel and allow me to cover everything I possibly can. And my motivation is certainly there, releasing a video every day. I've been doing this YouTube channel for almost seven years. I don't see that I'm gonna stop doing this uh, anytime soon. So your support, as always, is very much welcome. Uh, if you can't support the channel for a dollar a month, uh, why not buy your uh, models and your hobby goods from Element Games? They ship all around the world. And if you just use the affiliate link in the description, that tells Element Games that I've told you about them and it gives the channel a percentage uh, of your order. By buying through them yourself using the link, that's helping the channel out as well. I will be doing a video of how to support the channel and it will just cover all those aspects in a bit more detail. But for now, let's go on to the news. Um, so if we look from about a week ago, around about the 1st of March, so we go down here and we look there. Yes, so last weekend you could pre-order the uh, Eldari Warriors, Jane Zar and Drazar and their Aspect Warrior uh, squad counterparts. They are pretty expensive though, as I think I alluded to in my pre-order video. £32.50 for five models with next to no spare parts uh, or customization options. It's just the pitfall that Games Workshop fall in when they release these um, two army sets with uh, kind of easier to build uh, miniatures in them. Their only option after that is to release uh, the models in the set at full price or more, which, yeah, they make a, a quite a tidy profit at both ends of the spectrum now, uh, whereas before, in the big box sets, uh, you got a bit of a discount. Uh, on the Sunday, they had a look at the new events and Warhammer Fest uh, reveals. Um, it's happening on the 2nd and 3rd of May. I will be there for both the days, so stop me and say hello. I'll be wearing a, a Warlord Titan t-shirt, of course I will, and um, have a camera on me, most likely. I've got my golden ticket, so I'll probably be wearing some kind of, I don't know, VIP golden ticket lanyard thing. So yeah, um, stop me and say hello if, if you see me about. 
But these are just pictures from last year's event, uh, which unfortunately I couldn't uh, attend, but I'm really looking forward to it this year, hence why I'm spending two days there. I'll be doing a video on that Saturday night, you can guarantee it, um, and then definitely on the Sunday when I return. I may be doing a video on the Monday too, just to have a big recap of the whole uh, weekend's event. Um, we'll see though, um, more on that uh, later down the line. So they had a preview as they always do on a Sunday. Stay tuned to the uh, community website uh, tomorrow when um, they will be announcing the next week's pre-orders. I'm not sure what it will be. I'm hoping it's the final Sisters of Battle uh, miniatures, but it may well be the uh, new uh, Space Wolves Primaris stuff, uh, including the new Gaskell in a box set, maybe he's separately in a box set and the Psychic Awakening. We'll see, there's been quite a few, you know, Saga of the Beast articles and there's been no other articles on Sisters of Battle, so it's really up in the air what it will be. I personally would rather it be the Sisters of Battle just to get them over and done with and get all of their, their models out because the Codex has been out, um, you know, almost three months now. Uh, so that would be nice uh, if we had them. So usually on the Sunday I do take a load of pictures of what's coming up and I put them on the Instagram um, to give you uh, views of them uh, as soon as, as possible. And um, this weekend, today, uh, it's basically all about um, the Seraphon and a couple of other start collecting box sets. Uh, we'll, we'll have a look at them in a moment. There's a Spanners uh, episode, like I said, Saga of the Beast. Um, Road to Thramas Part 4, Marvelous Minders. Uh, these awesome looking Dark Angels models. Um, the Companions. You've got Artificer Armor and uh, Tyrannic Greatsword or Calibanite Warblade. Look incredible. Really, really awesome looking models. And then a Sign of Deathwing as well. So, a little bit of look at those uh, new Dark Angels models. They're hitting it out of the ball. They're hitting, in my opinion, they're hitting it out of the park with these new Dark Angels uh, minis for Horus Heresy. Uh, a true, a true turn to form for Forge World, in my opinion. And um, with these ones, uh, Seraphim, the Law, more Saga of the Beast, a Rumor Engine, uh, Seraphim, the Rules, remake reality with the Realm Shaper engine, a painting showcase that was quite interesting with the Triumph of St. Catherine, um, some stunning works of art that um, hobbyists have uh, come up with, Regimental Standard, J. Clare's Army of the Shire, that's worth a little look, Space Wolves Lore, uh, the Stegodon final form of list building, Dinner Time in the Underhive, under so this is the, the new model from Forge World uh, for Necromunda, and this is Bigby Crumb and he's got one boot on and one boot off and that is because he's got one boot in in the soup uh, and I believe that's to give it a kick. Anyway, <laughs> enough of my um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory uh, jokes. Uh, there was a painting and converting Seraphon uh, article, community painting contest and then a White Dwarf uh, preview which has yeah, really, really strange, but it has um, Space Wolves uh, in there, a Space Wolf uh, index. And then there's a paint splatter guide as well. So I guess there are some new rules and things in there, but it's, yeah, it seems odd to have like an index for one of the main, main factions of Space Wolves in a White Dwarf uh, rather than the, the Codex itself. But hey, there we go. So that's all the news from the community website. Uh, I would check back tomorrow and you'll see what our, the pre-orders are. It's either going to be Gaskell and, and, the, and the Space Wolves or it's going to be Sisters, I think. There's a high chance of either of those two. So let's jump on over to Forge World and have a look at Big B Crumb. If we just go on uh, the main page here. There he is. He's ad advertised front and centre. What else is advertised? Uh, just the Dark Angels Interemptors from the other week. And if we click on new and um, pre-orders, it is just him, but you've also got an option of buying all the uh, hired guns. Um, I'm not sure whether you save any money from buying them all. They're typically, what, 18 pounds or so, and you get 13 of them. Base value, I think you might save a little bit, but uh, I ha I'd have to go in and, and um, do some full calculations with that. But Bigby Crumb himself is a rattling slopper, uh, not sniper, rattling slopper. And um, 
yeah, it looks interesting. Nineteen pound for this rattling with his boot off and this uh, cooking pot. I like the fact that they put the the writing there now. That's that's quite nice um, for the for little previews. Um, you've got all the uh, the painting guide there. A little bit of painting guide. You've got downloads. If we click on there, uh, typically four twelve put their rules up um, with their new models straight away. Big B crumb and there he goes. Fifty credits. Uh, he's got a slop pot ladle club, so yes, he can use the ladle as a weapon. How awesome! Absolutely awesome. Okay, so that is um, Big B Crumb. Oh yeah, I've just seen that some of them are more than eighteen pound. Like there's a Polis which is twenty six, and the uh, Ammo Jack is twenty one. So you may well be saving some money with the the big full collection. Anyway, that's the only thing up for pre order this weekend um, from Forge World. Uh, let's jump on over to Games Workshop and have a look at all those um, sets. So if we just go to the main page, there is now an advert. It's just um, pre-populated this in the past sort of half an hour. Uh, you've got one main advert, which is uh, the Seraphon. Um, so if we click on Unit Exclusive and we go to Pre-orders, and we do a View All on a High to Low, we can get uh, these collections up straight away. So here we have the Gloomspike Gits collection, which includes the Battle Tome and um, the Start Collecting set. I'll go through how much you save with those uh, in a moment, but um, basically the, the set is £60 and the uh, Battle Tome is £25, so you're not saving anything from getting these sets with the books, which is a bit and yeah, it's, it's, a, it's slightly annoying. I'd rather you, even if you save like five pound, it would be great. Um, or or get some points for the next start collecting set, or money off of another start collecting set. If they really are trying to push you genuinely to start collecting all these different armies, um, you've got a Skinks collection there, and then you've got the Seraphon uh, collection too. So they do actually technically have two start collecting sets out for Seraphon: one for Skinks, and then one for um, for all of these which are part of the Seraphon 2 uh, you've also got a Daughters of Cain so if you like scantily clad women with knives and a lot of blood then uh, this is definitely the army for you I'm actually very tempted myself uh, so here are the start collecting sets they're £60 each set for the Daughters of Cain one um, I worked it out and the Start Collecting Skink set, which is 60, I think it's £96 or so because because included you get uh, the 12 Skinks, which I think come in a box set of 24 for £22.50, so I think that's £11.25. You get a Star Priest, which is £15, so that's 26 The Pterodon Riders and the Bastilodon are £35 each, so that's 70 so 70 plus your 26 is 96 pounds. So this is the best, best deal. It really is good. At face value, I thought, hmm, that might not be worth it. But it's because you get the Star Priest extra. You're getting four units in this Star Collecting set. And that's the key. In any Star Collecting set, you should be aiming to look for four units. If you can only see three, that you're then you're only going to be saving 20 pounds or, or so. So yes, this is a great um, start collecting set and um, excellent uh, kit to go with that battle tome. You've got the Gloom Spike Gits. Unfortunately though, they only come with three units and the most expensive unit in there is the £35, which is the Trogoths. Altogether, that's £80, so you're only saving £20 there. And then the Daughters of Cain, that only comes with two units. I mean, I say two units, two you know, box sets, basically. Both of those... Uh, like kind of box sets cost you £75. It's £30 for the Melisai Bloodstalkers and then £45 for the um, Bloodstrack Shrine, although you do get a, a few units in that Bloodstrack Shrine, but nice to have a £45 unit in a £55 box set. Um, and then you've got the, the Bloodstalkers as well, but technically you're only getting like two box sets, if that makes sense, and, and you're only saving £20. I think minimum start collecting set, I think start collecting sets should be 50 uh, maybe at a push 55 and they should include three units minimum but there we go everything's gone up a bit you've got the battle tome limited edition 50 pounds I wonder if it tells you how many pages there are yes it does in bold beautiful thank you games workshop 104 pages not a huge book not that huge. it's good that it breaches the 100 page mark but um, yeah 104 pages 
The Realm Shaper engine, that is £35. No doubt that will be made in China, so just bear that in mind. All the scenery is. This one does look pretty nice. Um, look, they've even painted it like that, which I think looks looks awesome too. And you've got a load of vines and things coming up. Very Aztec-ish, if, if I can say that. Uh, yeah, awesome. Awesome looking model. Um, and then uh, you've just got the yeah Eldari that were up uh, last week, and you've got the Battle Tome Seraphon, twenty five pounds. That's usual. You've got the cards for twenty. You've got Last Chances Armageddon Saint in Harbat for eighteen. Uh, Sepulturum, Sepulturum, uh, twelve ninety nine, and Anathemas eight ninety nine in paperback. And now you can get the Belisarius Call, great work in paperback, eight ninety nine. You can get it a bit cheaper from Amazon. Uh, but you're going to have to wait uh, another week after it's released from Games Workshop. Um, and I would strongly suggest you do that. If, if you see any books you like on this Games Workshop's website, um, just just double check at Amazon or another bookseller and see if you can get it a bit bit cheaper. Uh, Rites of Passage, again, paperback, eight ninety nine. So they're all the pre-orders for this week. Um, it mainly focuses, as you can tell, on Seraphon, uh, the, the Battle Tome, uh, scenery piece and a new start collecting set but it's nice that you've got new start collecting sets for the the other uh, a couple of other factions as well if I was starting these three armies I'd definitely pick up all three of them I was really tempted with gloom spike gits and if that kit was 50 pounds you know the old star pricing from you know a year and a half two years ago that would be a no-brainer for me um, all those squigs the trogoffs and the HQ for 50 I'd be all over it but as it stands at 60 it it puts it at a bit of a too high price range, uh, in my opinion. But that's just my take on it. I want to hear what you guys think of all these uh, news and pre-orders uh, from Games Workshop and Forge World this week. Please do put it in the comments below. It'll be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.